but as some of you might have heard, there has been a tragic shooting at the Fort Hood Army Base in Texas. Uh, we don't yet know all the details at this moment. Uh, we will share them as we get them. Uh, what we do know is that uh, a number of American soldiers have been killed and even more have been wounded in a horrific outburst of violence. My immediate thoughts and prayers are with the wounded and with the families of the fallen and with those who live and serve at Fort Hood. These are men and women who have made the selfless and courageous decision to risk and at times give their lives to protect the rest of us on a daily basis. It's difficult enough when we lose these brave Americans in battles overseas. Uh, it is horrifying that they should come under fire at an Army base on American soil. I've spoken to Secretary Gates and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen, and I will continue to receive a constant stream of updates as new information comes in. We are working with the Pentagon, the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, all to ensure that Fort Hood is secure, and we will continue to support the community with the full resources of the federal government. Uh, in the meantime, I would ask all Americans to keep uh, the men and women of Fort Hood in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we will make sure that we get answers to every single question uh, about this uh, horrible incident. And uh, I want all of you to know that uh, as Commander-in-Chief, uh, th there's no greater honor uh, but also no greater responsibility for me uh, than to make sure that the extraordinary men and women in uniform uh, are properly cared for uh, and that their safety and security uh, when they are at home uh, is provided for. So we are going to uh, stay on this. Uh, but I hope in the meantime that all of you uh, recognize uh, the scope of this tragedy and uh, keep everybody in their thoughts and prayers. Uh, 